let's see the slave transfer response here the response from the slave is given by the signal h response the response by the slave is given by the h response signal when the h response by the slave is given as zero then the response is termed as okay this means the transfer has either completed successfully or additional cycles are required for the slave to complete the request so when h response is equal to zero then it says it is a transfer has completed successfully or or it may say that it can it requires additional cycles for the slave to complete the request the h radio signals indicates whether the transfer is pending or complete so for example if h response is equal to 0 if h response is equal to 0 and h ready out h ready out is equal to 1 this indicates that transfer has completed successfully if h response is equal to 0 and h ready out is equal to 1 this indicates that transfer has been completed successfully whereas if h response is equal to 0 this indicates that it is the transfer the response is okay but if h ready out is equal to 0 if h response is equal to 0 and h ready out is also equal to 0 then it indicates that transfer is successful but the slave needs additional cycles if h response is equal to 0 and h ready out h ready out is also equal to 0 then it means additional cycles are required for the slave to complete the request so if h response is equal to 0 and h ready and so if h so if h response is equal to 0 then according to the h ready out signal h radio signal decides whether the transfer has either completed successfully or additional cycles are required for the slave to complete the request so if h response is equal to 0 and h ready out is equal to 1 then the transfer has successfully completed or if h response is equal to 0 and h ready out is also equal to 0 then the transfer then the transfer is pending then it indicates that transfer is pending and when h response is equal to 1 then it indicates an error response so when h response is equal to when h response is equal to 1 then it indicates an error response an error has occurred during the transfer the error condition must be signaled to the master so that it is aware that transfer has been unsuccessful so when there is an error in the transfer from master to slave then slave produces an error signal by asserting h response to 1 then master will be no so the master will be aware that transfer has been unsuccessful so a two cycle response is required for error condition which h, with h ready out being asserted in second cycle so we will see this about we will see about this in next slides so here we can see when h response is equal to 0 then we have already discussed it this when h response is equal to 0 then there are two cases here h response is equal to 0 stands for ok response by the slave when h response is equal to 0 and h ready out and h ready out is also equal to 0 h ready out h ready out is equal to 0 then it indicates that slave needs additional time for completing the transfer so when h response is equal to 0 and h ready out is also equal to 0 then it it then it means that slave needs additional time for completing the transfer whereas h response is equal to 1 and sorry whereas when h ready out when h ready out is equal to 1 and h response is equal to 0 then it indicates that the transfer has 
completed successfully when h response is equal to 0 and h radiate is equal to 1 then it indicates that transfer has been completed successfully whereas h response is equal to 0 and h radiate is equal to 0 then it indicates that slave needs additional time for completing the transfer then after completing the transfer the slave asserts this h radiate signal to indicate that the transfer has been completed successfully when h response is equal to 1 it indicates an error response it indicates an error response so when h response is equal to 1 it indicates an error response whenever there is an error response then h radiate then h radiate response then the slave response in two sec in two seconds with the help of h radiate so whenever there is an error response that is h response is equal to 1 then initially h radiate will be equal to 0 which means the slave is not ready which means the slave is not ready for any type of communication any type of communication and so the master will be aware so whenever the h response is equal to 1 it in it it already it is already indicating an error response and the slave also asserts this h radiate equal to 0 so that if a master tries to give another data also it will it will be not it is it will not be able to give another data the master will not be able to give another set of data also when h response is equal to 1 it already the slave is already telling it is an error response and it is also asserting h ready out equal to 0 so that when a master tries to give another set of data since h ready out equal to 0 it, it will not be able to give the data so this will prevent any further data transfer and in second clock cycle and in second clock cycle this is the case of first clock cycle h ready out will be equal to 0 and in second clock cycle h ready out will be asserted to 1 indicating the completion of the transfer so here we can see h response when h response is equal to 1 then h ready out will be equal to 0 error response it is first cycle and in second cycle error response second cycle So let's see an example here. Here we have a master has selected an address of A and H first transfer is non sequential and H ready is high and H response is OK. In clock cycle T0 to T1, you can see the data is been transferred. And in second and in second clock cycle T1 to T2, we can see the address is B and the data A has been transferred in the second clock cycle and H ready is equal to 0 during T1 to T3 and H response is OK in this T1 to T2 clock cycle. And in T2 to T3 clock cycle, we can see H ready is equal to 0 indicating an error response here we can see there is an error response so h ready will be equal to 0 in t2 to t3 clock cycle and in t3 to t4 clock cycle h response is again still error and h ready will be accepted to 1 that is it has been completed the transfer and in t4 to t5 so we have already discussed this scenario during an error state the transfer type we have already discussed this scenario during the error states the scenarios of h trans signal during the error state the transfer type has been changed from the transfer type is being changed to idle so h ready will be equal to one here and in next clock cycle t4 to t5 the h response will be asserted to okay
so this is a basic example of h response which is given by the slave to the master in order to give the status of the slave to the master with the help of this h response signal so this is all about today's video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video